All right, guys, in today's video, I'll be playing this Weezing um, Wigglytuff deck. Um, one of my mods, uh, Dank Memes, uh, mentioned this in the morning stream today. And, you know, I wasn't really sure what to do for a video, so might as well just go for it. And um, I like Weezing, and I've always wanted uh, Wigglytuff to be better uh, than she is, just because, you know, guaranteeing sleep is pretty nice. Uh, you know, she's uh, got a lot of HP, the attack's not bad. So I just figured, why not? I actually had a lot of fun with the games. Uh, Weezing has a really fun play pattern to me. Uh, the only thing that I might change in this deck is putting in a second Sabrina, but we didn't actually need it. But the deck is just two coughing, two wheezing, two Jigglypuff, and then we go three Wigglytuff. Uh, this one actually sh um, uh, did well in the uh, in the game. I just needed exactly 60 damage one of the games, and it came through. So you know, I guess you never know. I mean, this could be a spot that you easily cut, I guess, but. Um, I did actually kind of like it, and it gives you a way to have a three-point game instead of, uh, you know, or a three-knockout game, rather, instead of, you know, knocking out the Wigglytuff and, like, a Weezing. So, I actually really like its inclusion. I would not cut it. And then, of course, we have the Kogus for the bouncing, the Giovannis uh, for the math. The Giovannis come in clutch, Pikachus, and research for the consistency, like always. But yeah, just you know, looking for different decks to play. I actually had fun with this one. Um, I wanted to thank everyone that's been supporting the channel uh, recently. It's it's blowing up, and uh, I really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's just get into some of the games. All right, here we go. Energy first. Energy first. Coughing, wheezing, start. Can't be too mad at that. Maybe we'll play against Mewtwo and just crush him. Okay, scary deck instead. But we're getting energy first, so if they don't evolve quickly, we might not even have to worry about the menace that is Marowak, but we'll see. Not holding my breath yet. Okay. Hmm. Onyx. Okay, so maybe Marowak and Onyx as a secondary attacker. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Does Giovanni do anything? If I do 30, Giovanni actually does, right? This will be 10 and then 20. Just in case it ends up mattering over the course of Maybe a potion. So they'll have 30 now. They'll take 10 from the poison and 10 from here. And then another 10 at the end of their turn. If they don't either retreat it or evolve it. So I think the Geo was worth it there. Man, Pokeball, Pokeball, Oak. So they've gone through half their deck already. Hopefully there is no Marowak. There's a potion. Mm-hmm. Okay, unfortunately I am getting Marowak vibes here. Jigglypuff, maybe? There we go. Weakness is irrelevant here. It's either going to be one heads and it lives or two heads and it does not, right? <clears throat> mm. I evolved, so the growl effect is removed. Is a new Pokemon. Unfortunately, they do have the Marowak, which I figured they would. They've been through 12 out of 20 cards, right? <clears throat> This game is still very winnable, though. Man, they just draw drew all the consistency cards. Obviously, we want a Wigglytuff EX. We really don't want uh, this one. But if we have to, we will. Alright, let's see if we can survive. Big surviving. Big surviving. Love to see it. Not going to evolve yet. 
And I am just going to try and take this thing down. Weezing is such a fun card. Hmm. How many cards left do we have? 11. Haven't used any researches. Potion, naturally. Still dies to this, which is great. Uh, Giovanni changes no math. Oh, actually, no, it does. With weakness, so he just needs one heads now. But we we set up for Hyper Voice, so we'll see. Okay, so he's toast. He's very toast. Alright, and... Poison into this is great. A little late there, Koga. A little late. Obviously, this is our play. And hopefully we can Serena and trap the other Onyx in the active spot. That would be great. He definitely has a Brock, so this is going to take 70. But uh, I think he's stuck after that, so... And we just need to attack twice. So we actually... Probably gonna win this game, right? Mm hmm. Just don't bench anything else so the Sabrina does a good job. Just 70. Hit me for 70. Quick. Don't think about anything else. Just attack. Please don't bench anything else. Yes. 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 Alright. Please be. Uh, coughing. Very nice. Now we've got Sabrina. He can't possibly do anything about this. And this Wigglytuff is about to take down an Onyx, which is great. I think we win. Uh, sure. Even with double XP, this Onyx is not going anywhere. Okay, well, I mean, that's just retreat into game, right? Or wheezing game, either way. Okay. I'm just going to let the Wigglytuff take care of it. Okay, so very weird game, very weird deck by the opponent. It's just a Marowak, you know, a deck with Onyx in the back, but I'll certainly take it. All right, we are going second, which is great. I'll certainly take the energy. And we have Coughing Wheezing. Hopefully we can pick on some Mewtwo. Abra works fine too. <clears throat> Probably um, Wheezing, so... We might not be able to pick on the uh, Psychic as much, but we'll see. Alright. Jigglypuff? No. This is actually better for Sabrina, though. Okay, and he might attach and retreat, or if I were him, I'd probably just attach to the back line and... You know, sacrifice this Abra, but we'll see. Okay. That does look like that's what he's going for. Sure. If I get a Sabrina, I will definitely Sabrina the back line. Whoa, what? Why would you do that? Why not just put... Why not just build the healthy one? I'm so confused. Why not just build the healthy one? Somebody help me out. I'm very confused. I suppose if I want to retreat without using Koga, this makes more sense.
Okay. <laughs> Digging for that Alakazam. It is wheezing Alakazam. Okay, now we can build here, I think. Sadly, no Jigglypuff. I kind of want to take out one of these X-Speeds, maybe for a second Sabrina, because... Um, almost like the worse your deck is, I think the more Sabrinas you need. If that makes sense. Oh man, like Sabrina here would be really juicy. Okay. We can stay in for one more round, right? Oh no, he can Koga. He can Koga and kill this, actually. Do I just make it healthy now? Probably. So now we go Jigglypuff. Attach. Koga. Promote. Weezing. Sabrina Protection. And then we do it right back. Now he probably has a Koga as well. But I might make this a triple prize game, just like he's trying to make it. So we'll see. Very interesting game. Weezing such a good, uh, good, good card. Good uh, design. It's very fun to me. Oh, well, there's the Koga play. Sure. Yep. I wonder if he's going to go Alakazam. That would be very interesting if he was. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking about using Koga and knocking out that Weezing, which I, I think that might be the correct play. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Let's go for it. Okay. Maybe he's unlucky and doesn't have Alakazam. The problem is I have no other energy on my bench, which is a big issue. I feel like you don't promote that unless you... He just drew it. Okay. At least I think he did. So Weezing and then Koga. Oh no, you're going for that. Oh, interesting. Well, this just gives me all the time in the world, doesn't it? Mm -mm. I think this is a mistake. I think he's just supposed to go in with the Alakazam. Right? And just start one-shotting things? I think this I think this line wins me the game, I think. Um, we do evolve there. Uh, now we research... Now we build this up, right? No reason not to. And then we poke. This also makes Sabrina an out as well. And there's one in the bottom five. Okay. Does he not have a Koga? That would be crazy. 
Okay, he does have a Koga. So now we go in with Weezing and try and whittle this thing down. Ah, uh, he's getting ready for a retreat. I see. Okay. Here we go. Now we have a bit of an issue. So if we attach to the wheezing, we're toast. Right? Because he attacks back, it won't knock it out. Then we attach. We attach, he attacks, nothing happens to us bad. Then I attach, then he knocks it out. No, I can't attach to wheezing here. I am going to evolve this as well. We have double X speed. Now we go gas leak. We also go Giovanni. And we tackle. Oh yeah, we have weakness too. I totally forgot about the weakness. I was so focused on the Wigglytuff. So yeah, I think he's just uh, cooked here, isn't he? Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that actually saves you ever. Okay, so now we're now we're playing this game again. The fact that I have two XP is very helpful here, by the way. Weezing, Weezing makes these really fun game states. Oh, I see. He wants to swap back in, but didn't he use both Kogas already? You no, know, he didn't use both Kogas already. Oh, no. He didn't use both Kogas already. Let me think about this. If I double X speed, which I have to do, right? Because he could have the Koga. So we have to double X speed. I think I have to... I think I have to retreat into Weezing and attack again. What an interesting game this is. Okay. Maybe Wigglytuff will eventually come out, but it can't come out yet. Now my problem is... Well, actually, I don't really have a problem, because eventually he has to get through the Weezing. And that's only a single point Pokemon. So now I think I'm free to just build up this Wigglytuff. I'm just very afraid of the Koga into Alakazam swap in. That's a big problem. Does he not have Koga or is he baiting me? Or does he not want to take the 50 50? Oh boy. Um. Wait a minute. Yeah, so he's just going to retreat and knock me out. And I've got one Sabrina at the bottom too. Oh man. This is horrible. So close. Just not quite. Man. That is so unfortunate. Oh wait, no, he can't attach and retreat and attack me with Alakazam. Hold up. What am I saying? He can't do both. Does he have X speeds? He already used one. Does he have more? Does he have another one in his deck? Wait, 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 wait. 
There's the other Koga. Well, that's how you do it. Darn. Wait, what? Is he now retreating into it just to mess with me? I'm so confused. What is happening? What is happening? Sabrina, you are very late to the party here. Wait, we know he has a wheezing. Was he like BMing me and is it going to bite him now? At the end of his turn, I also get poisoned though, don't I? I think so. How sad. It was very unfortunate. Yeah, wheezing, and then you poison me. But I'm already poisoned. Wait, I'm already poisoned. So now I can retreat. <laughs> Lol. What does retreating get me? A lot. A lot. Because this is stuck in the active now. Well, I think he was just BMing me, but that's very unfortunate for him. Unless he has like double Sabrina in hand. I didn't think about that. I guess that's very possible. He's got to be running Sabrina. Does he have double Sabrina? No idea what was going on in that game after a while. I got lost in the sauce there. Oh my goodness. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know. Don't ask me. All right, here we go. Game three. This time we are not starting off with coughing wheezing. We do have an XP pivot though. So if this Pokeball gives me coughing, we might actually be in a really good spot, which is nice. Okay. Okay. All is not lost yet. Jinx as well, interesting. Okay, well he's got like pretty much everything he wants. Alright, I really need this to be coughing, pretty please. Pretty please, one time, one time. Yes! Excellent. Alright, get far-fetched. <laughs> Weakness is still absurd. That do not care about that at all. Too late for that. Makes sense. All right, that's all you got. I'm happy. make these red cards less good. I'm not going to use Wigglytuff EX because I want this to be potentially a three prize game. So, Gas Leak. And here we go. Yeah, I really think I want to add the second Sabrina to this deck. Seems like it could just be really nasty. I'm not sure what I would take out yet, though. The deck's pretty... Pretty bare bones already. Already doesn't have any potions, obviously because you have Koga, but still. Hmm. Potion literally doesn't change any of the math, right? No, it doesn't. 
Okay. So now we have a good Koga play, potentially. No Curlia on their end, which is great. Okay, now I don't have to worry about this EX getting sniped anymore. Let's just start to build the Wigglytuff, right? I think so. All right, here we go. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, see, I think two Sabrina in the deck just kind of auto wins this, doesn't it? Poison really does hurt Mewtwo, though. Hmm. Okay, Geo doesn't change any math. Unless he's trying to do double Geo, in which case it would. Okay, let me think about this. So, we could gas leak here. I could do 50, 50. It's 100, that'd be 120. And then another attack. Yeah, so Koga just wins me the game here. Yeah, Koga wins. So even if he side drives... Oh, I guess if he side drives, I do need to find another Weezing. Okay. <clears throat> Pokeball probably for the other Mewtwo. I think we have to promote the coughing. I think I just have to hope he doesn't have Geo, which he probably does. Just in case this matters, I want it out of my hand anyway. Okay. No Geo. Oh, wait, Geo doesn't kill Coughing. Coughing's, Coughing's a thick boy. It doesn't matter. He's not a 60 HP Pokemon. Everything's fine. We win. Bodied. Yeah, I'll beat up on the Jinx too. Absolutely. Okay. Definitely not a ball. I might need the other Wigglytuff. Interesting. I forgot coughing was so thick. He's got the Machop stat line. Does he have XP Gardevoir? No. I'll take it. Very three, three very interesting games, but um. Wigglytuff EX didn't really show herself, but I think that's okay. I think you understand that, you know, uh, she's the finishing blow a lot of the time. Uh, but the baseline Wigglytuff did get one of the finishing blows, which is probably pretty abnormal. But I still had a lot of fun with the deck. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.